What's your name? Johnny McMonagle. Is there a problem, officer? We'll find out in a minute. Suck into this. The suck? Done up blue? You suck these new ones. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> now, what did you say your name was again? Johnny McMonagle. <laughs> Hey, see you later, Orvo. Here, yeah, boys, boys. Here, Tommy. Hey, yeah. hey, listen, I've got a new song for the day. Oh, here we go. What now? I hey, see when our mob score. We sing this. We don't like it when you score. Please don't do it anymore. <laughs> You're ruining a nice day. Terrible. Terrible, Tommy. Angie's are bastards. <laughs> Stop right there. Sick, man. Every time you lie on that couch sleeping all night and when I come in late and try and sneak past you, you always catch me. How'd you do that? Cos I'm the best, hen. <laughs> Stop right <laughs> there. <laughs> Stop right <laughs> there. Hush! Stop right there. Asshole! <laughs> I'm the best. <laughs> okay, nice easy one to start off the quiz for you today, George. It's the national anthem of Great Britain. <laughs> What's the missing word? God save the... Uh, God save the... Pandas. <laughs> no. Why would the national anthem be God Save the Pandas? Well, they're nearly extinct, aren't they? It's God Save the Queen, George. Oh, I would never have got that. I'm no into football. Football? <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. It's the musical... Odd One Out. Oh, cool. Music's my thing. OK, who is the odd one out? John Lennon, Paul McCartney... George Harrison or Charlie Watts? I assume you know who all these people are, George? Aye. John Lennon, Paul McCartney and George Harrison were in the Beatles. Charlie Watts is the drummer for the Rolling Stones. Exactly. So who's the odd one out? George Harrison. Wrong. Why would you say George Harrison? Well, he's the only one with the same name as me. The question isn't related to you, George, OK? It's the musical odd one out. The musical element is the key. Right, right, I've got you. Right, OK, so who's the odd one out? George Harrison. No! Aye. He's the only one that plays lead guitar. Look. They all play different instruments, George, OK? We're not going to have a wrong answer here. We're going to get this one right. Now, it's far more obvious than that. Mere obvious. Right, OK. The most obvious, George. The most obvious. So, what's the answer? George Harrison. Cos he's the only one whose initials follow each other in the alphabet. G, H. <laughs> Look, George, you practically told me what the answer was when you said who they were and what bands they were in. So it's got something to do with the Beatles and the Rolling Stones? Of course it is. Right, right, OK, well, Charlie Watts is a drummer for the Rolling Stones. And John Lennon and Paul McCartney, I think, wrote one of the Rolling Stones' first singles. So the odd one out is George Harrison, because he didn't have anything to do with the Rolling Stones. No, George! No! The answer is not George Harrison. It's obvious. Three of them played in what band? The Beatles. And one of them played in what other band? The Rolling Stones. Oh, what an idiot. Right, right, mate, I've got you. I've got you now, I've got you. You're sure? Aye, aye. You're not going to say George Harrison again? <laughs> no. OK. John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison and Charlie Watts. Finally, George, who's the odd one out? Ringo Starr. No! <laughs> ah, he's the one of the Beatles left out. He wasn't even an option. You've swapped Ringo Starr for Charlie Watts. 
Y yeah, so Charlie Watts is the odd one out? No, Charlie Watts is the odd one in. Charlie's in. Ringo's out. Oh, God. <laughs> Hello? Mate, do you have any quizzes about fish suppers? Or any quizzes about sausage suppers? Can I say hello to my friends at the Society for Lopsided Glutes? <laughs> Mate. Hi, Lewis. So glad to see you finally made it. What happened? My dad said to give you this. <laughs> OK, Lewis, that's fine. Go and sit down. <laughs> John, thanks for coming. Thanks for the email asking me to come. Thanks for reading the email so promptly. Oh, thanks for penciling me in so quickly. Thanks for making yourself available at such short notice. Oh, thanks for being so polite. Thanks for noticing. Would you like a cup of tea? Ah, uh, yes, thank you for asking. Oh, there you are now. Thanks for not being difficult and asking for a different drink. Thanks for having some tea at hand in spite of you preferring coffee. Thanks for noticing that coffee is my favourite drink. Oh, thanks for noticing how observant I am. Thanks. Thanks. I'll tell you what it is. It's a bit... Oh, before that, thanks for filling in this application form so tidily. Oh, thanks for issuing such a straightforward application form. Thanks for using block capitals and a black pen. Thanks for insisting on a black pen, my favourite colour of pen. <laughs> thanks for being so open about your favourite colours and beverages. Thanks for making me this lovely cup of tea. <laughs> thanks for not slurping your tea there, but silently sipping it. Thanks. Thanks. Anyway, this application form. Oh, by the way, thanks for the lovely pressed flowers between you. <laughs> oh, thanks for inspiring me to start my flower pressing hobby again. <sighs> thanks for reminding me of summer days at my grandfather's farm. Thanks for reminding me of my late grandmother, who I dearly loved. Thanks. Thanks. So here's the issue. At the end of your personal bio, you've written a word. One word, and it's the one word that we can't understand here in the office because the ink is smudged. Oh, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> it starts with a T. A T? Yes. And that is why I think it would be a perfect fit for your company and the type of people who work there, and then that word, T smudge S. T and an S at the end. Thanks for trying to work this out. Very helpful of you. Thanks. Ah, uh, nope, sorry, no idea what was going on about there. Well, there's a theory in this office that it might be the word... Tossers. Tossers? <laughs> And that is why I think I might be a perfect fit for your company and the type of people who work there, tossers. Oh dear, 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 I suppose it must be that then, because I can't think what else it could possibly be. Well, in that case, your application is rejected. Thanks for coming. Thanks for asking me. Thanks. 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 Seriously, thanks. 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 Thank you. John. John. Thanks. Let me tell you this, I thank you. <laughs> thanks. Thanks. And where do you think you're going? <laughs> and where do you think you're going? Ah, pish. <laughs> and where do you think you're going? How'd you always know? Because I'm the best, Ted. The best. Coming to a cinema this fall. Open your heart to cinema's hottest new hunky star. I've never dated a Scotsman before. Are you as wild and crazy as people say? Oh, there's nothing so wild and crazy as the Scottish. <laughs> who are you talking that for? <laughs> Sorry, who are you? Well, I'm just a real guy, mate. Just a real guy for Scotland. The question is, who are you, mate? Where are you for? I'm from Scotland. Scotland? <laughs> who says Scotland like that, mate? I'll tell you who. Scottish actors have slagged away to Hollywood and fannies. How you know just say Scotland like a real guy? You now, like your dad or your uncle would say it. Scotland. 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 Need the sound in there, mate. Not even a t sound in there, just an uh. Scotland. <laughs> Look, buddy. We're trying to have a romantic dinner here. <laughs> buddy. Buddy, mate. Who says buddy in Scotland? Why can't you not call guys things that real guys call guys? Now, things like mucker, mate, Jim, chief, pal, big and wee and just things like your dad, your uncle would call your uncle or dad. 
<laughs> you mucker! You got to Scotland game tonight? No, 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 no. I'm going to Hollywood so that I can say Scotland like this. Scotland. And call a real guy. Buddy. What do you want for your dinner? I'll have the chicken. I'll have the tuna. <laughs> tuna? Tuna, me! Tuna! Ch 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 tuna! What is it we assholes in a letter T? Scottish guys, mate. Real guys, we pronounce that T We a ch. Hey. One hen. One you be a real guy. Cause this guy is a cunch. <laughs> real guy takes Manhattan. Here, Emma. Come and see this daughter. <laughs> when you're that out of it, you're stoting like that. There's nothing will stop you. I know. What speed do you think he's going? Mmm, about three mile an hour. That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got sat nav now? Aye. Got it for my birthday. Got a celebrity voice on it? No. Came with my dad's voice on it. <laughs> Your dad's voice? You never think of getting inside of this bloody motor a clean son. <laughs> left, 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 left! <laughs> I said left for fuck's sake, you did. I was past the turn before he said it. <sighs> so I fucking drove myself. Burly about. <laughs> That's pretty good. That sounds just like him. You know a fan of indicators, Derek? The reason we flashing lights to let other drivers know what manoeuvres you're planning. <laughs> that guy, just go straight on. Whenever you're ready, switch that indicator off. It's no big deal. It's only the language of the road that the rest of us all use. <laughs> it's no Brands Hatch, son. I wasn't going fast. Hey, Paul, Lua, I'll just walk. I always said I wanted cremated, but no right now in some fireball accident you've caused with your horrendous driving. I will walk in. Left, 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 left! Oh, you missed it again! You need to give me a bit of warning. Is this a prison ship we're on? No. And why are you right off that guy's ass? <laughs> you drive. Oh, what have I said now? Honestly, you're like a bloody wallflower. I'll say what I want about your driving, right? You know why? Because you're 35 year old and you're still on my insurance. Your mum won't let me take you off it. You're on my rescue recovery, I know. Ten you're out the house and you still cost me a fortune. Turn left! All right, Scott. 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 Scott! What? I said all right. Oh, hold on a minute. I tried to do a tweet here. I was telling my followers what's happening. Did you just say followers? <laughs> Scott, mate, the only people that follow you are investigators for the social. Oh, well, mate, I've got 207 followers on this now, and now they're all updated with my gossip. Oh, what gossip? What did you just tweet them? I just tweeted. That's Peter coming in. <sighs> that must have them gripped, huh? I mean, that revelation must really have them on the edge of their seat. After a loud seats in the mental hospital where all your <laughs> followers must live. Well, mate, at Cara20 just tweeted back at me, is Peter as cute as you are? <laughs> You're cute. Did she get her guide dog to tweet that for her? It's just a bit of flirting, all right? I flirt with all my followers. Mate, gonna stop saying followers, right? You think you're some kind of inspirational leader or something? What are you doing? She's taking a photo for Facebook, man. Eh, uh, why? Well, cos 
this is happening, isn't it? This is something that's happening, so I want to put it on my timeline so I can look at it. <laughs> Scott, mate, I come out here every single day. We live this miserable day together every single day. Who could possibly want to see photos yet? Your doctor, when you try to get a prescription for antidepressants? <laughs> hey, listen, mate, I didn't want to go here, but... Want to stop being such a Luddite? Such a what, mate? A Luddite, mate. You're scared of technology. You're not engaging with any of it, mate. I says to wee Barry there, I was like, ah, see, Peter, he's not across any of these new technologies. He's not sharing content the way the rest of us are. What? <laughs> see, me and wee Barry, Peter. We're frictionlessly sharing playlists and other stuff we've curated all the time, man. Even your mods started live streaming now. Everybody's doing it. You're getting left behind, mate. Well, you know what, Scott? I'd rather be a Luddite than a Fuddite. <laughs> I'd rather be a Luddite than a Fuddite. That's a belter. <laughs> yes. Five retweets already, man. <laughs> You're having a good day. Nearly sold a lot already. You kidding? Sold nothing, man. Aye? This is all I'm selling, man. This denim j -skit. All you're selling is that j -skit? Not any ordinary j but, man. A denim j -skit. An original blue denim j -skit. How much is it? 500 quid. <laughs> what? No wonder you've not sold it. That's a real hang button, isn't it? That's why it's so dear. The real what? A real original blue. Denim Jessica. <laughs> well, a, a Levi's or something? A designer thing? No, man. That's a thing. That's why it's so dear. It's a real, original, blue, name Denim Jessica, man. <laughs> For the glory days. Or the glory days? The 80s. Like a retro thing? No, man. No, the 80s. When then? The glory days. 2006. <laughs> How was 2006 the glory days? Because <laughs> I was like that, oh, man. Like, with my denim j on. Yes! Aye, glory days to you, you mean? Aye, man. I was like, man, just pure strutting about, man, with my denim j on. All right, ladies, top of the world. Much did you buy it for? I didn't, man. Fun it in a skip. I was like, <laughs> what? An original blue denim j and a skip? The glory days, man. Summer of 2006. Nobody will ever forget it. Aye, well, good luck to you selling it, man. Oh, it'll sell, man. Don't worry about it. Hmm. See if it means that much to you. Why are you selling it? Do you need the money? Nah, man. Money's meaningless to me, you know. I just kind of thought to myself, I've had enough of a great thing. I've had my glory days. It's time for somebody else to get that feeling, man. Slut up, man. <laughs> Your denim jays going, man. <laughs> You're basking in it, man. So why not just get away? Nah, man, it's going to go to somebody that appreciates it for what it is, man. It's going to be meaningful. It's too many wasters in this world. And I thought to myself, right, money matters to other people, didn't it? So if I ask for 500 quid, then I know they're really feeling it, man. Then I know it's somebody that really wants it. Good luck to you, man. I think it's a hellish looking thing, but <laughs> good luck. Cheers, man. Five hundred. Aye, man. The wife was wanting a new wardrobe, but I've been needing something like that. Tell me about it, mate. Get out on you. Ah, oh, these are your glory days now, man. I'll be out there and live them. Cheers. Scientists, right, are saying that if your pals are fat, it's more likely that you'll turn out fat. 
And if your pals are fit and healthy, it's more likely you'll turn out fit and healthy. Aye. It's pretty much just me and you hang about together, isn't it? That's all I'm saying. What do you mean that's all you're saying? Like you're getting at something? Well, you used to be like a pencil, mate. And I was never like a pencil. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> what do you mean that's all you're saying? What's your point? You're coming in my direction, mate. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Stop saying that's all you're saying, but that's not all you're saying, and just say what it is that you're saying. I've had more influence on you, mate, than you've had on me. That's all I'm saying. Hush, mate. Every skinny boy puts on a bit of weight when they get older. Aye, cos they're led by their peer group, mate. And I'm your peer group. I've been leading you. I'm your leader. That's all I'm saying. Listen, let's see if there's a leader between you and me, right? It's me. I'm the one that decides what we're doing most of the time. That's just a front butt, mate. See, on a deep psychological level, mate, you're getting fatter. <laughs> and that makes me the alpha male, mate. The big silver back. The dominator. Right, don't talk about dominating me now, mate, right? Well, people can make their own minds up. See, when people realise you're trying to turn yourself into me, you'll know who wears the trousers in this relationship, mate. Fox, mate. Nobody's gonna think that. The science is right there, Fatty. Science has got nothing to do with people about here. I was thinking I might be going for a run. You coming? No. <laughs> These are my Dover Kids holding cells. This holding cell is where I keep the Burniston Butcher. He was selling out a date pies. Box sick. <laughs> and this is the tail twister. This madman's gimmick is that he always makes sure everything he's involved in has a surprising ending. Ah, just you wait and see. <laughs> it's a wee shame he's off his nut. And this, this is my arch nemesis. Big Sani Tolan's boy. We've been battling each other all our lives since our first fateful encounter at Burniston North Secondary School. Come on, you let us out. I've not done anything. This man's got a list of crimes as long as my arm. That was years ago, and it was just banter. I don't call forcing overweight little boys to shag a pole banter. <laughs> hey, who's this wee darling? This is my new female sidekick. You can call me Dober Women Man. <laughs> Should that not be Doberman women? <laughs> anyway, what's a wee darling like you doing hanging about with a virgin? He'll try to twist your mind against me. Ignore him. I'm not a virgin, by the way. He's not a virgin. Come on. We'll leave him here. And don't get any ideas when I turn my back. I'm wearing a 100% grogger-proof cloak. <laughs> He's VL. I am not virgin lips! <laughs> Ask him what kissing feels like. He knows what kissing feels like. Come on, we'll leave him here to rot. See, see, he doesn't he know. Of course I know. It feels like... Well, it's not the kind of thing you can explain. Show us in. On your own. I, I'm not... I... One time. <laughs> no tongues or anything. I'm getting to the tongue. <laughs> what a crap kisser. I didn't say I was a good kisser, did I? I just said I had kissed. Aye, but you've never had sex. Yes, I have. I've done sex about ten times. <laughs> Only ten times. Doberman, man, you're letting him get to you. Do you not think a super... Do, do you not think a superhero that talks with this voice has a chance to do sex with loads of lassies all the time, every night? I'm the best at doing sex. The best! Show us, then. Show us on that pole. 
Ja! Powers Ja! Raining again. That's Bummerston for you. Rain, rain, rain. Do start. Do start all that again. What? What's that about? Oh, it's raining again. Boo hoo. Boo hoo. Oh, shut up, you dick. I wasn't even talking to you anyway. Wow. Wattle's gonna phone me. Oh, I'm gonna get a bit wet. I'm gonna have to wait for it to dry in. Oh! Right, just leave it. Oh, never mind the fields getting irrigated. Oh, never mind the reservoirs. Oh, never mind the wind! Having something to drink! Barry! Oh, my trachytope's a bit damp. Leave it! I hate old man. You coward! You're a coward! Oh, we head home that windy and throw yourself out to your death, you coward! You die, mate! I hope you die! I hope you take a bunch of pills and then you lie outside in the rain with your mouth open and the rain fills you up like a wobbling! <laughs> oh, I'm your corpse, mate! Oh, oh, oh. I can't wait, mate, until you die. Oh, come on! Find a cure for death! Yes! Kill death! Yes! And it works for everybody, mate! Except you! And everybody comes to watch the last man dying! Roll up! Roll up! Come and see the last man he die! I see. I don't suppose you'll be wanting this custom-made skateboard I got for your birthday. Let's go to our faces, won't it? <laughs> Legends. <laughs> Legends. Excellent. See when you get here. Right, here's a question for you, right? See if you could save one thing for your house. If your house was on fire, what would it be? Uh, probably my photo album. <laughs> well, you, you want to save that painting of the lassie with the big boobs? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine it. <laughs> no, no, it'd be my photo album I'd save. Ah, that's the only pictures I have of my mom, isn't it? I couldn't lose them. No. Aye, uh, right enough. <laughs> I can't believe I listened to you on this water. Nobody comes to the beach in the winter. All the people are going to be here in a wee minute anyway. So just shush and get ready for them to come anyway. It's nearly dark, Walter. Nobody is coming. We're going back to Burniston. No! No, please, 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 Shush! How can we be out of petrol, Walter? You asked me to put in enough petrol in the tank so we could get to the beach. And back, Walter. And back. We're stuck here now. Well, if we're stuck, then maybe I could make you a wee, tiny, wee, toty, wee, toty, wee sandcastle. Or I could make you a sand bun, Paul. What is a sand bun? A sand bun. It's like a wee hot dog bun and I'll put a wee sausage in it for you. We don't have any wee sausages, Walter. I make the sausages, you stupid idiot! Out of my bum! Disgusting! 
Do you think Mammy wants to hear you talking about things coming out your bum? Do you remember Mammy liking bum talk? No. Sorry about the bum talk, Mammy. Right, where's the sleeping bags? <gasps> the sleeping bags? Oh, can we play Angry Maggots, Paul? No. <laughs> nee, Angry Maggots. Straight to sleep and then up first thing in the morning to go and get the petrol. Angry maggots! I said the angry maggots. Angry maggots anyway! Right, what's that? Angry maggots! Angry maggots anyway! Angry maggots! Angry maggots! Angry maggots! Angry maggots! Angry maggots! That was good fun anyway. Aye, you're right, Walter. It was good fun anyway. You remember Mammy used to play Angry Maggots with his Paul? Aye. Mammy was the best at Angry Maggots in the whole of Burniston. I've still got the scars to prove it. Aye, she was a wee cheater, but Mammy. Her wee zip used to come down, you'd see a lovely wee face poking out. Aye, she was a wee rascal. Good night, Paul. Good night, Walter. Good night, night Mammy. What is that sticking in my leg? Yeah, oh. that's better anyway. I'm looking for an attractive girl. I'm supposed to meet her here. Well, I see hanging about in that booth there, my man. Thanks. Hello, Bon. My name's Pocahontas. Pocahontas? Yes, my great-grandfather was Native American. You can call me Poke for short. Poke my gusset. I thought you'd never ask. This is my friend. She'll be helping us. Her name's Giza. I was conceived when my parents honeymooned at the Great Pyramids. Giza. Giza Gobble. And that's my line. This is our other friend. She'll be helping us too. Hello, Mr. Bond. My name is Mafani. <laughs> Mafani Smith. <laughs> Don't have any designs on me, Mr. Bond. I will be marrying my fiancé next week. Italian financier, Gian Lucazicci. Consider me future Mrs. Mafani Zicci. It certainly will be by the time I'm finished with you. This is my friend. He's been very keen to meet you. Hello. My name is Mustafa. Mustafa Sex Change. I've been looking forward to working with you. Um... Little big chap. Hate to be a strapogram man. Hi. <laughs> Nightmare. How you doing, mate? How's it going? Oh, all right. You know how it is. You been up to? Oh, same old, same old. Yourself? Oh, just the usual, man. Same old story. Aye. Aye. Aye, I've been there myself, mate. Aye? Oh, aye. Many times. A veteran? A veteran. Got to be done, though, eh? 
You can't turn around and say no, can you? Nah, no danger, mate. Not people like them. No, nah, they'll just mess you up. <laughs> and they drop you a hand. Mm, and who'll be running more than us? That's what I've been saying. For years I've been saying that. Mm, but who listens? Exactly, mate. Exactly, mate. Exactly. Exactly. They're frightened of the truth. Oh, you know too much truth, you got a knife in the back. Mm hmm exactly, mate. And I don't want to be sticking knives in people's backs, but... But? Exactly. Exactly, mate. It's got to be done. Got to be. Without that threat, it would be chaos. Now you've got to rule by fear. It's the only way we can control the masses, mate. Too true, mate. And they have got to be controlled. No, you can't have mob rule, mate. Hmm. It's for their own protection. We do it for them. And what thanks do we get? None. Exactly, mate. Exactly. See, they hate us because we know how to love. And they never will. Exactly, mate. Exactly. We get them what they want, mate. It would be the end for us all. Oh, it'd be the end of humanity itself, bud. No doubt. No doubt. Oblivion. Exactly, mate. Oblivion. Exactly. And who wants that in their conscience? Exactly, mate. No me. <laughs> Anyway, see you doing a bookie for the National. Aye, see you there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> 17 now. Hello? Come in. I phoned earlier. My granny passed away. Of course. Creepsy, could you show this gentleman to the chair of comfort? My name's Falls, Archibald Falls, and this here's my son, Creepsy. <laughs> Give me a wee hand with this, son. Uh, there we go. That's it. Unhook yourself. Unhook yourself. That's it. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm. Creepsy, could you play something appropriate on the fiddle? <laughs> Let me guess. Only the best for your wee granny. Am I right? Of course. Aye. How did she die, if you don't mind me asking? She passed away in her sleep. Isn't that just the best way to go, son? I always laugh with joy when I hear that somebody passed away peacefully. Now, how can I help you with your preparations? Well, I need a coffin. Let me just fly this wee idea past you. How about we take your wee granny, we stick her in a bin bag and we coop her into the canal? <laughs> what? I'm no like all the other undertakers for burn listening. They're all in it for the money. Right? They'll try to sell you the most expensive coffin they've got. Me and my boy here will stick your granny in a bin bag, <laughs> dump her in the canal, and we'll do it for 20 quid and some rolls and ham at the week. Oh, my granny in a black bag? <laughs> I bet you that at some point in your wee granny's old age, she said to somebody something like, Oh, don't bother about me, just stick me in a black bag and put me at the back for the clean. <laughs> she did. She said it to me once. And I bet you she told you not to bother with a big expensive casket when she was gone, eh? Aye, she did. See? See? Your wee granny's wishes. That's what we're all about here. But does that mean there'll be no funeral? Son, who likes a funeral? <sighs> yeah, like we'll pop your granny in some bricks in a black bag, <laughs> pop a whole lot in the canal, then we'll go and get leathered, fill our faces, have a wee jig, and remember what a great wee woman your granny was. Now, what do you say? Can't you believe I'm saying this, but... You're on. Excellent. <laughs> How's Friday for you? Just leave her body out by the bins and we'll pick it up. <laughs> See the poor tackle there from Burniston United's hometown hero, Craigie Winters. And it's going to be a penalty kick to Burniston City. 
right, get that remote control in your horn, right? See the second that ball crosses the line, switch it off. I don't want to hear them cheering, I don't want to look at their faces celebrating. Defo, mate. Don't want any faces smiling at me in my own living room, Peter. If I need to look at the ugly bastard celebrating, I'll end up punching a wall. It's not them scoring, mate. It's them being happy. They don't deserve happiness, they lot. Exactly. If it crosses the line, we switch it off to all the celebrating's done with. And we'll put it back on again. Right, here he goes. And Wilson steps up to hit this one. <laughs> but didn't you see if it went in your dick? It was hard to time it right, isn't it? I didn't want to risk seeing even one smile. I'll turn it back on. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. If it went in, they're going to be celebrating now. Do I look at a rotten face he's celebrating? Can I stand to see that, man? Right, right, well, time it then, right? Right, celebrating, right? Players celebrating. The dirty animal fans celebrating. <laughs> the big fat asshole manager celebrating. No. No, no, be about yet. See, be honest with you, Peter. See if we turn this back on and I see that it's 1-0 to aim. I'll be pissed off just knowing that they have been celebrating. <laughs> I'll be able to imagine it. Aye, sickens me in my stomach just thinking about it, man. Our faces, man. What we'll do is, right, we'll cover up the tap of the telly so we can't see the score. This side? Aye. Oh, hold on. The commentator. He's going to see the score at some point, isn't he? Then I'll be able to imagine a man smiling at me. Just mute him, then. It's one out of aim, anyway. <sighs> that lassie didn't look too happy, did she? She wasn't wearing any colours, but... She was a stank. Monster Scott, a total stankle. She was definitely one of them. I thought she was all right looking, man. She might be one of us. They're going to catch us in the break here. Oh, Winters, come on, you're a total care horse. He's throwing goal, switch it off, 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 off. <laughs> nah, Peter, that big daddy would have missed that. Maybe. Let's just assume that it went in. So we don't need to look at our faces celebrating. Man, I hate to see them celebrating, man. Seeing their faces. I can just picture their mutant inbred faces, man. <laughs> That'll be long enough, won't it? Aye. Come let it in, put it off, off, off! <laughs> Nah, my peer, we never concede for a corner, never. I'm confident of that. Aye, right enough. Go for it. He's going to shoot it off, off, off! <laughs> no, what, right, Peter, why don't we just say that every time we come into our half, right, we're going to turn the telly off? And we never see them scoring, man. We never see them celebrating our big faces. Oh, see the thought of our dirty ape faces celebrating, man. Oh. Right, that's it nearly done, right? But if we wait till the final whistle, we might see them put their arms up and with no red one, we need to think about their faces celebrating about it. I want to see even just the thought of that, mate. Right, just put it half an hour. Well, we need to have no choice. <sighs> Great game, butter. Aye, cracking game of football, man. Aye, uh, All right. Come here. I'm going to miss him so much, you know? so final. I keep thinking that I'm going to turn around and he's going to be standing there. I know. So, why were we down by the sea? We were not going to the chapel.
Right, one more go and get leathered. 